hell's even going on? I don't know. I don't know. Half the time, I don't know. Um, I just go with it. There's no safe place on Earth. I don't know if you knew this. There's nowhere you can go to be safe. Okay? Nowhere. You got to be ready for anything at all times. Okay? Your friends can turn into enemies in any minute. No, just kidding. I'm sure your house is pretty safe and I'm thinking probably the last time you've seen any real violence has probably been decades, if not years, if you've ever seen any real violence that wasn't on TV in your privileged little life. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about you. Anyways, um, where are you safe? Well, um, uh, let's talk about that right now. All right, I got my friend Caleb here, my socially awkward friend Caleb. That's my nickname for you. <laughs> okay, so check it out. Sorry, what was that? Sorry, maybe we can shorten it up a little. All right, let's shorten it up a little bit. Check it out. He's got his hands up. He's ready to fight me. I'm safe here. Safe, right? Take a big step back. Safe here, right here, right? Put your jab out. I'm just as safe here as I am here. Why do we bring that up? Thank you, Caleb. Uh, well, because I want to talk about getting into the clinch and specifically one way that I like to do it. Okay, now we've gone over some ways to cross critical distance. Again, that critical distance line is what's critical to you. How close can I get to a uh, stupid man before he can punch me or kick me, okay? But I'm just going to forget about kicks because unless you know martial arts, you're not going to kick. And even if you don't and you try to kick, it's really stupid because you're not going to do a good job. And then you're just kicking your own ass, literally, literally, literally. <clears throat> so how do we get into clinching range? So check it out. Three different things I think about in fighting. Striking range. Staying on that outside so I can blast a mother effer, right? Getting across to do my striking. But if I get in here, I can hit him, he can hit me, okay? So we're talking about striking range, long range, and then we're talking about clinching range is what we're going to get into today. Clinching range is in here where it's close and personal, and I can, I can hug on him, I can love him, I can collar tie, I can do all of this kind of beautiful stuff, underhook, overhook, to do my damage. So how do I like to do that? I like to do it with this move right here. Bam! Okay? Single frame, what I like to call it. So I can do it coming into him, working my offense, boom, I'm protected here, my other hand's up, and then I can get into my clinch, right? Whatever that may be. Or I can bait him to come in to me. Boom, right there, and then I use that to get into clinching range. So, short video today. All I'm trying to tell you is use your single frame to cover your dome and cross the critical distance line. I'll come to you. Boom, set it up. Look at that right there, baby. Bow! Whoosh! Right into clinching range, okay? Um, yeah. So use your single frames to get into clinching range. Yeah, it's a good idea, don't you think? I like that. All right, good. Salute. <laughs>